Hey guys, this is um, 62224. Uh, it's called The Wealth Divide and Who Stays. There's two separate ones. Number one, the wealth of the land resides with few. The earth has plenty, but those with access to it are but few. The masses struggle. The wealthy have more than they need. What causes the divide? Selfishness and control. The wealthy control others, whether they know of it or not. Those in poverty and the average man are pawns in a game. The wealthy control the rest with subtle rules and clubs that keep people separated. The younger generation in your times screams of injustice. They wish for social rules to change in favor of non-traditional morals. They notice differences in society between who has power and who does not. But they wrongly assess it is based on social reasons. Through time it has always been so that the rich rule the poor, the rich rule the middle class, and the rich rule those who are barely rich. In ancient times, who had the largest flocks and land were the ones with power. In later times, those things of value such as gold, oil, or salt. Trading these items brought money and status, a life of luxury and excess. There are men on the earth I have blessed financially and they have luxury and excesses, but these are not in the group of those with extreme wealth. In your times, those with extreme wealth are all interlocked with clubs and societies and trade agreements, and they serve Lucifer. They trade peace for playthings. They trade love for luxury. They trade obedience to me for self-directed pursuits toward more. Different conversations are had between these and others. Secret languages, hand motions, and intent are all revealed to all, but most have no idea the true intentions. Many see wealth as the goal. A life of luxury, the easy life. This is their goal for people to emulate. The people do not know that the life of luxuries, that the life of the very wealthy is empty and unfulfilling. Recall Solomon in Ecclesiastes. He had everything money could buy, but the only fulfilling thing was my wisdom. He was never as close to me as his father David. A life that is earned causes man to need me and call upon me and to become fully dependent on me. To have all there is on this earth is a difficult life, although it is promoted to society as the pinnacle way to live. The wise quickly see that there are many pitfalls of the luxe life. The super wealthy that rule the earth, these are controlled in dramatic ways. They lack freedoms. They are trapped without me. A deep sadness is always in their soul. Their love of money and power constantly draw them away from me and make a blockade of pride and inability to reach me. It is indeed harder for a rich man to come to me than it is to get a camel through the eye of a needle. In each society, there are layers of wealth, a reason for one set of people to hold power over others. This is not my way. I say regardless of property or poverty, all men are measured the same by the soul. The rich should not look down upon the poor. The poor should not grow embittered toward the rich. All are of the human race and ideally should help their fellow men and work together in kindness. But because of sin, this is not how humanity has chosen to live. In the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, all men in the kingdom will be fully equal and share in kindness and as originally intended. No bitterness, no measuring, no competition. Just humans sharing what each other has to bring. All humans have something to share with others. Humanity, each made with gifts that are to be used together. The church was tasked with bringing the original purposes of the people together to work together flawlessly in harmony. At this time, humanity has mostly divided itself into wealthy and poor churches, segregated with the churches by financial means. This is a failure. Yes, there are some who are kind and they share their gifts regardless. But on the whole, the church has followed society instead of setting a new standard. In the t end times, during the times of sorrows, church, set aside the desires of this world. Set aside your social rules and precepts and help all types of humans. Any human who needs me, serve them, help them, bring them the gospel, house them, 
show my love to them. My love will save many. This is unique. This is needed. Commit now to be open to help all types of people, no matter what divides your sub-society has placed upon your perceptions. I am love. Be my love. Remember that all who share my words of eternal salvation with others will always have my supernatural protections. Number two, hallelujah. The Lord God Almighty reigns. The soon coming of the King will be regal. The people of the Lord will come up to Jesus in the clouds. A mighty crisis will follow. Who will be left? Those who did not read the Gospels. All who read the Gospels will see clearly that the false Messiah's words are wrong. They will not follow. If any follow, it will only be for physical provisions and because they did not heed my warnings. All who have never read the Gospels will gleefully follow the false Messiah. All who follow the false Messiah in the day of decision will stay for the great tribulation. No one who follows the false Messiah has full faith in me, none. This will be a surprise to many who call themselves Christians. They have trusted others to tell them the Bible, but never decided to pick up my words and absorb it as the way to live. They have not allowed the words to transform their lives. The gospel transforms lives. Jesus' words clarify the intent of the rest of the Bible. Reading his words with intent to understand and live changes a person, transforms them to desire Christ-likeness, as well as be malleable for the Holy Spirit to shape and change them into being spiritually mature. Those who had ample opportunity to be changed by Jesus have denied it out of laziness, idleness, or lack of interest. How? They are not fully mine. They want the benefits of eternity, but desire no sacrificial living on behalf of the mission. These will stay for the great tribulation. There will be a great shock, especially by these. They will be shocked of how many people have been found worthy and are gone from the earth in the rapture. A deep instant fear will hit these people, deeper than the fear of men that were not associated with me. For these had been associated with Christianity, and many having heard that a rapture is believed by some, they will realize they have missed it, and the worst is yet to come. The darkness that covers the earth, just as the last of mine are raptured from the earth, will be horrifying. It will be just like the darkness that covered the earth in Egypt. No light available. None will work. It will be thick darkness and felt. But it will be worse than Egypt, for it will also be filled with demons that torture all those left. These left, who with ample opportunity had choices to make between me or the false messiah, these who chose the false messiah will be in horrors. Very difficult times. This will be a short amount of time to turn to me. The moments of torture will let them sample a part of how hell will be. Their souls will be revealed. The ones who have any inclination toward me will turn quickly and fully. The ones who simply endure the suffering will grow bitter from it and fail to cry out to me. These will become the workforce for the Antichrist. Each of these dark souls in misery, but still fully committed to hate, evil, wickedness, sin, and the evil one. These will grow in their sins, lashing out to kill, harm, break all moral laws, and cause lawlessness. These will willingly adopt the one world religion. They will rejoice to sacrifice humans. All of those they can find that do not comply with the new religion they will rejoice in dark worship, and when people are publicly tortured and sacrificed, then the people will at first be sacrificed to Baal under a new name, but then they will adjust willingly when the Antichrist demands all are sacrificed to him. What knowledge they will not hear is that as society breaks apart and fails, and the Christians go into hiding, those that they seek to kill. The Antichrist will round up his own workforce and worshipers to slaughter. For the Antichrist's power will need to slaughter humans 
to fuel his power. I, the Lord God Almighty, warn what is to come is unbearably difficult. Stop, turn, come to me. I offer love, kindness, joy, protection, provisions. Avoid the great tribulation. It will be more difficult than you can imagine in every way. Stop now, hear my voice, come fully to me. Read the Gospels on repeat. Request the Holy Spirit to come into your life and guide you. Come to me now. If you are mine and doing as I ask, fear not. But do warn those who will hear you. If you receive resistance, stop. The consequences of the prideful will come to them. Pray that they drop their pride before the rapture and come to me with their whole heart. You cannot change a person. You can only offer the truth. Be my voice of truth. I hope that's encouraging and I'll see you next time.